is this thing on? Stupid. I <coughs> <clears throat> I inhaled incense smoke. Uh, do a little chitty chat. I don't know. Let's turn you guys this way. I'm trying to paint my nails. As you can see, I'm in my pajamas. Like, I'm doing the... Sorry, I don't have my, uh, my microphone on me either. So we're just going to do the best with this microphone here on the phone. We're doing the pajamas. Like, I washed my hair and I put a little makeup on and I, I put my labret in and I'm painting my nails. But that's as far as we're going today. I'm staying in my pajamas. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, really what it is to be spiritual and what it is to be human and seeking spirituality. And I was sitting here painting my toenails and I was just I was prompted to really relay the message that if you guys go to a spiritual teacher and either a spiritual teacher, a tarot reader, any type of energy worker, and they just welcome you in and you can sense something is off with them, but they're not being honest about that. You don't want to go to those energy workers because the best energy workers know when they're not connected to the energy because the best energy workers i mean we're still human we're we're on this earth we have we have not completely like bypassed our humanity so things happen things happen in everybody's life it doesn't matter your profession like some days things are off and your energy's off and you're not doing things as good as you could be and in the energetic and spiritual world it's you're not as connected as you could be and it's a really big green flag when your spiritual worker tells you i'm not connected today my energy is off do you forgive me can we reschedule this and this happened and i'm i'm not going to do good for you today because i can feel it that's a true energy worker the ones who just feed you a bunch of bullshit and I'm the guru and I've spiritually, toxically bypassed all my human stuff and that stuff doesn't matter so I'm going to gaslight you into making you think that your shit doesn't matter because we should all be godly now because we're not humans anymore. Don't you know we're gods? No, no, we're not. We're, we're still humans. We've chosen to be humans here. Okay, we're going to have our human experiences we're gonna run into those fucking brick walls and your finest your finest your top tier spiritual teachers the ones that are gonna fucking help you out they're not gonna make you bypass your humanity they're gonna help you bring the spirituality into the humanity because we're, we're not gods yet we haven't left these bodies yet we're still having this very contained and small human experience with all these human emotions and all these triggers and these nervous system problems if, if you know you come from different backgrounds I'm not going to get into all that but your best teachers here we came here to teach you from here yes we have access to out there but we're also still people and if we can't um, I'm saying we as the collective we of spiritual teachers and tarot readers, if we can't tell and if we can't be honest that we're having an off fucking human day and reschedule our stuff and if we're only seeing money symbols and business and we got to keep it going no matter what because that's toxic. Like that's not what we stand for, is it? I, I don't I don't think so. I think that we are then hypocrites. Because now we're being humans, pretending to, be te pretending to be like up here when we're having a down here day. And then telling people who are down here to be up here while we're down here. That just, that doesn't work. And I hope that you can understand what I'm trying to say. Biggest green flag. And this goes with your therapist too. If your therapist does not have a therapist, be concerned. If they think that they have all the answers and they don't need anyone anymore... Red flag. Sorry, Charlie. Red flag. 
red fucking flag. Why? Because we're all humans and we're all having a human experience, which means that some days we're not energetically up here. We're down here. And when I'm down here, I'm not going to pretend to be up here. So if you've scheduled a fucking reading with me and a healing session with me or some spell work with me and I'm down here, I'm going to say, hey, do you mind if we take a rain check and give me just a couple of days because I'm going through some shit right now and I know that I'm not going to do a good job for you. I don't know. Maybe I have too much integrity, but I don't think so. Because these messages like these, these messages like these, they don't come from my human part, my human half, my human bits. They're, they're channeled for a reason. And even on days that I feel that I'm really disconnected, I'm kicking my own ass, I get these downloads. And if I can't do a reading for you today, I'm going to be fucking brutally honest about the world of energy and the world of fake gurus and just really the world of healing. It doesn't matter if it's Eastern or Western medicine. If someone claims to have all the answers and, and they're no longer seeking for answers because they're done, red flag, red flag. Find someone who's humble. Find someone who's going to see when they're off. Someone who's going to feel when they're just not right. They're not there and they're not able to do a service for you that you've you've come to them for and yeah maybe I'm crazy in fact I know I am by the standards of society but I'm gonna do good energy for work for you if you come to me for energy work and I'm not feeling like I can fulfill that and I'm not feeling that I'm gonna do a good job for you I take that personally like I'm not gonna do a half-ass read and I'm not gonna bullshit you end of my rant I guess that's what it is I guess I better go I don't know maybe drink some coffee or something else fucking stress <laughs> no we're good <laughs> we're okay bye guys <laughs>